What's good, my family, bruh? How y'all doing, bruh? It's a couple days after Christmas, about to be 2022. And your boy is down bad and low. Not in like a worldly way. Like I got money. Everything's going good in this in my life. But up here, it's not good at all, bro. Christmas, I was like, I've been off so like I'm just gonna keep it a G with y'all, bro. I've been off so much drugs and alcohol, bro. That's not me. I've been so lost. I've been so sad. I've been so it's the first time I felt real withdrawals, bro. I was one. I've been thinking I'm sick, bro. I just been withdrawing off drugs, bro. No cap, like that shit. Everybody they talk about opioid withdrawal. That shit is like being high without being high, and it's just horrible because you, you're just like walking around like wanting to throw up, wanting to just like you're high, but you feel horrible. Like wow, like I'm, I wasn't sick, bro. I was. I've been withdrawn, and like I don't know, but I just know I'm looking for love, bro. I'm looking for love from anybody, from anywhere. Like you know, older woman, like I just want a family, bro. I just want a mom. I just want like that's all I want for Christmas, bro. I didn't get shit. I didn't want shit, bro. I just want somebody that. I worked meeting again. It feels like everybody I meet is so temporarily. Like, I know like, every girl I meet, bro. It's like, I know I'm never going to see you again, bro. Like, I don't never want to see you again. Like, it's not that you're not worth shit. Like, you're just not on the same type of time as me. Nobody is, bro. And that's okay. But where is the people on my type of time? Like, what the fuck do I got to do before I'm not functioning and i'm not able enough to pull myself out this hole like i know i'm about to get out of this hole but i'm not trying to come back down here bro because i don't know if i'm gonna get out next time <sighs> like this what about last chances to really make shit work like y'all see me bro like look i'm working now like everything is fine bro other than mentally i feel mentally like I'm worthless, I'm unlovable. Like, I feel like, because my mom has been such a, like, I just wanna blame everything on her, bro, because now I can't even be friends with women. Like, I have, I've never had a good connection with a woman, bro. And I just am relying on some older woman to, like, help me, like, not hate women so much when every woman I meet's like, you gotta do that yourself. But like, damn, I wish I could, but every person I meet that's a fucking, has a vagina, they just seem to not benefit me at all in no type of way, bro. So, I don't know. I feel horrible. I'm not enjoying life right now. But I'm grateful that I, what, I, what I do have and the ability to get out of this situation. I know I'm not stuck here forever. I know if I had. But look, bro, if I had a lot, hell of money, like, like I got money right now, but not like just enough to keep me going, you know. If I had like hella money where I could get a new van and upgrade everything, bro, I would be even more sad. I'd be doing more drugs. I would be like, it would be a lot worse. So because I'm broke, it's really a better thing, but it's a worse thing because people aren't attracted to me because I'm broke. They're like, oh, who wants to be around somebody broke living in his van, you freaking loser. But Mm, bro, I just gotta like focus on the day to day. But right now, I'm I've still gotta wait till I'm 21, bro. I'm still 20. I can't like once I start once I start going into bars and I can start meeting these milfs, bro. Like it's up there, bro. Like I just want a cougar so bad that can make me start enjoying life again, bro. And start not seeing women in the way I see them, bro. I like they annoy the fuck out of me so much, bro. Like, all women in general just annoy me. Like, mm -mm. people annoy me, though. Like, not even women. I'm not I'm not just going to hate on. I'm not hating on women. I, I'm just like, it's just like a whole chunk of the world is, on, is living in the same world where they don't really care about nobody else's world but what's going on in their life, which I'm like, okay. I don't really have a life. I live in a van. I don't really have nobody in my life. So I don't really care about my life. Uh, let's focus on the world. 
don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. At least don't do it in Vegas, bro. Like, I got to get out of Vegas, but I don't, like, know where to go. I don't know what, what weather, the weather situation's like. And it's just a hard time in my life. And I just wanted to be able to come on here and share this and share to y'all that I am trying to sober up. I am trying to get back on YouTube. But, like, this shit's tough, bro. This shit is tough. This shit is tough, bro. I understand what addicts go through now. I understand what pe depression is. I understand what all this shit is. Like, God, please punish. Stop punishing me, bro. Stop. Like, stop punishing myself by doing this shit, bro, and learn from my mistakes. But, like, I'm going through all this shit for a reason. Like, I actually know what these dark emotions and feelings and I know what this path leads to. I've been down this path multiple times, but it's like every time I go further, further down it, after going good, like, I'll do so good for so long, and then I'll do bad, and then I'll do good, and then I'll do bad, and it's like, when can I just go to stay on the good path, but that's how money gets to, though, money, you make it, and then you lose it, and then you make it, and then you lose it, but I don't understand, bro, I just don't understand, and it's okay not to understand, because I don't know, but something told me to make this video, and it's like, bro, people are going to see you right now at your lowest. Be like, damn, I don't wish that this man does not deserve to be feeling like this. That, that's going to put some energy. It's going to put y'all's energy into the universe. Like, hey, take it easy on him. <laughs> and then the creator of the universe is going to be like, all right, maybe that since everybody that is wishing him blessings, boom, I'm going to give him some blessings. I'm going to have some blessings. I'm able to share my blessings with y'all because that's what I want to do, bro. Like, that's what I want to do more than anything. I want to I want to change other people's lives. And then when I'm dead and gone, these videos that I have left, like, man, I wish you would have got to meet that dude. Like, I wish you would have got to meet him. But, but it's dead. Like, don't nobody, not nobody got to meet me like that. Like, I, I've been out here. And I'm out here, and I'm sober right now. Like, I'm just starting to smoke. I've been sober all day. I smoked this morning. Like, I don't cry off the drugs. Like, I cry when I'm sober, bro. Like, motherfuckers get off drugs, and then their real emotions start coming out. Like, no, nah, that's why I'm, like, that's when I'm fucking, you, you, think, you would think I'm happy, bro. But no, that's when I'm, like, just ignoring all this, this feeling, bro. Like, so many people out there want to meet me and look up to me, though, bro. And then so many people get around me, meet me, see how much I could benefit them. And then they use me. They figure out how they could use me instead of joining a team with me and going further on. They just figure out how they could use me. Like, this shit is lame, bro. I ain't really too worried about it, though. Because I know my work. Like, I know what I'm going to do one day. I just don't know who, what everybody around me is going to do. So it's so hard to who I can trust. And, like, I don't even answer calls no more, bro. I'm, I don't even really, I don't got no shit to say to nobody, bro. I'm about to switch up cities, bro, and meet whole different new people. Switch up cities again, meet whole different new people. Like, I forgot I live in a van. I could do that. Oh, it's the weather right now that's kind of stopping me, but I'm about to have to go. But it's myself, too. Like, I got comfortable here. Like, I'm safe here. Believe it or not, I'm safe here. I got hella connections here. Like, it's kind of crazy. I'm safe here, though, in Vegas. Now, I, like, I don't know. People, I, I got a face here. Like, people know me here, which is good and bad. But it's mostly good, mostly good, because I'm an honorable dude. I don't know, I guess I just feel like I gotta restart, I gotta go and, like, I'm gonna go be a nobody, I gotta kill my ego, cause, like, I probably do got an ego feeling safe here, like, not really worrying about the street shit here, because as long as you, like, mm, Vegas is, you can, you can stay safe and you can stay safe here, bro, like, I don't know, I'm not too worried about it, cause I know where not to go, I know who not to mess with, other cities, I don't know shit about shit, bro. So I'm just nervous, bro. But mm -hmm. y'all yeah, comment where I should go. Definitely want to go to Florida this summer. Definitely going to go to Oregon. Definitely going to go to Arizona. Definitely going to go to, um, I want to go to New Mexico. They got some baddies too. But I don't know about New Mexico at all. But definitely Arizona. 
maybe Texas, like probably Texas. Probably want to. I, I gotta see my boy Danky. I want to see um, Louis Vlaz, of course, bro. That that's like the role model though. But I want to. I want to collab with people like on my level, bro. So when so when I blow up, like yeah, y'all met me before I blew up, like. Danky, Ron from fucking the people from Canada, bro. Some people from New York, bro. Like it's people all the content creators too, bro. People probably watching this video, like they look up to me, bro. That mm -hmm. I can show y'all that it's cool to be real like this. It's cool to like really get down with the people who say they love y'all. Cause if y'all say y'all love me and y'all watching me, like even if y'all are like laughing and making fun of me, like so what? Like that's cool. Like. That's just a different type of love, a different type of interest. Like, as long as your interest is somehow, some way, like, you're benefiting from it. And you're learning from my experience. I watch people that do, pri that's been to prison their whole life on YouTube. That's who I watch on YouTube. And I, I don't want to go to prison. I want to learn what they learned from their hard times and experience. I want to learn it from them already, just you know, without having to go to prison. <laughs> But yeah, man, I start, I'm starting to think like, yeah, maybe I should watch like business executives and like shit like that. So people went to prison, but I feel like I'm learning what not to do though. Like they, and they're, they're, just, they're, they're all such good teachers though. Like they don't tell you to do, they tell you to stay out the streets because this is what you're going to get. And I, my dumb ass just needs to actually listen to them and listen to what not to do. But I don't know, bro. I got to go city to city and then country to country. I know that. I know that. I know that. 2022 has to be my year. I got to do sailboat. Like, I got to do some crazy shit, bro, that makes me, like, isolate and really find myself. I got to start reading. I got to, like, do that. I got to stop taking drugs. I got to drink water a lot more. I got to be outside more. I got to start running. I got to start eating right. I got to get my hair trimmed. <laughs> like, bro. Every, whenever you see me grow the beard out, know I'm depressed as fuck. Like, I'm so depressed, I don't want to shave it. Unless it looks good. But I know this shit don't look good. I know that my hair don't look good. I know it needs a trim. Like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> it is the point of my life where I can't even get in the bars to talk to cougars. So, I'm just in my van all day. Like, <laughs> I keep saying cougars, bro. But it's like, bro, I don't want to... I don't know, bro. I really need to give girls my age a chance, but it's like I don't want to. I don't. I don't, I don't ask for money. I don't like asking for money, but I guess I could. I feel like I could ask for money from a from a cougar, because like they got they've earned that money for a long time now. But a girl in my situation, we're both broke as shit. Like, damn. It's not about money though, bro. Cause look, it's not about money. It's about experience. It's about all that shit too. Like, I will give a girl that a chance my age, but like. I need I need help. I need help. So, what's a, what's another person gonna do that's sitting right here? There's a girl that at my age that is not like hasn't been through shit just like me and don't have money. Like we're just been the same situation. <laughs> like hey, <laughs> like look who's over here instead. The bottle. <laughs> like. Just know I'm gonna be as big as like Juice or a little peep, and I know those are some people I like. But like people that get that big, like Drake, and like people who the whole world know, like LeBron. I don't know why, but they're different. They don't appeal to one group of people. They appeal to everybody, and that's the type of person I am. So I just gotta like 2022 is gonna be a long bullshit ass year. I can already tell, bro. But like it's gonna be bullshit in a crazy way. A bunch of crazy good and probably bad shit is gonna happen. I'm just gonna have to live through all of it and just tell y'all what happens after. But yeah, this is me recovering from my Christmas depression binge, drug binge, and I made it. I'm off of them. That's how I do in my life. Like I get on them for a couple days and then I get, then it like I like get fucked up in the head and like damn, I hate my life. Push everybody away and restart. <laughs> Start from the bottom. Go back up to the top. And then fucking fall again. I just don't. I need people when I get to the top. Not to fucking get jealous and push me all my progress over. There's all these people around me chipping it down. Because they got these little, 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 little thing with the little thing. The little nail and they're hitting it. 
chisel at me because they're still at the bottom doing not shit, bro. I'm leaving everybody at the bottom, bro. Real shit, bro. Because my some of my friends ain't even watching this far into the YouTube video, bro. So I'm knowing, bro. I'm on game now. Like, what? I'm about to start. I'm about to start driving to see my subscribers. Like, I'm about to really put like work into this YouTube family shit. But on some in some, in some personal level shit, like videos like this, bro. But more of like the next time I do a video like this, hopefully it's me growing. <laughs> you know, not like a me being honest with y'all video. But I'm gonna always keep it a hundred. For sure. But yeah, I got less than a month till I'm 21. And then it's over with, bro. It's over with, bro. Nobody can tell me shit, bro. It's over with. Ah, my body feels horrible, bro. Do not do drugs, bro. Like, I feel horrible. I just want to go run tomorrow. Like, that. You. that's how you should feel, bro. When you, feel, when you work out all the time and you feel good like that, that's the europhia. <laughs> You say the word euphoria. I say europhia. Euphoria. That's the euphoria you should feel, bro. Not from fucking drugs, bro. That's like a. That's like you. That's something you just take. That's a lazy. It's like lazy. It's people that just sit on the couch and watch TV or some shit. That's just being lazy, bro. You got to get out and be in the world and experience nature and go to Oregon and see all the sea, the sea life and ocean and wildlife and go travel the whole entire world and live on a sailboat and do all this shit bro while the rest of the world is living in the vr and the metaverse but i'm invested in crypto so the shit's gonna go up while everybody else is just living in that and while i'm living in the outside world but i'm out of here bro i'm gonna edit this video real quick and post this bitch but yeah 2021 it's like december 29th like 11 o'clock at night it's gonna be um Oh, is it finna be New Year's Eve tomorrow? That's New Year's Eve Eve tomorrow. And, um, yeah, it's about to get wild here in Vegas. I'm probably gonna do some vlogs. Hopefully, link up with Izzy. Like, we're gonna see what happens. But I love y'all. I'm out here. Just be good. You see the shirt. You see the merch. You see the vlog.